Welcome to the home of the Burke Bunch. So this is our front entrance and uh, pretty standard front entrance. We have a dresser to, we're in a climate where we need winter clothes. So we have hats and mitts and we have each of our own drawer and then a couple of extras. And over on this side, we have closets where we can store our coats and uh, boots. And that little corner over there, that's the dog's favorite spot. I don't know why. So right off the front entrance, we have an office. So this is our office and we have basically three workstations set up. This is where Greg tends to do his work on his MacBook Pro. And uh, this is the computer that gets fought over the most. Uh, basically we use it for email, social media, and then we have one last workstation over here uh, that the kids like to use for drawing and uh, sometimes their homework. This bench here, we actually designed and built this bench ourselves. It used to, we used to put the desk in this spot, but uh, the desk came up to here and I didn't really like it and it wasn't enough desk space. Five full-size drawers. This one was the miracle because of how close it was didn't hit. Good planning or luck. This bench here is uh, one of Cricket's favorite spots uh, and she does some bad things here. Uh, I don't know if it's one she's frustrated or lonely but she chews. Oh. See all the way over there? Bad dog. So come on over this way and you'll see our uh, TV room upstairs. We have some couches that we bought from uh, Ashley Furniture, as well as the rug and the ottoman. And then over here, we have our TV and sound system. This unit was custom built by Greg, uh, and I helped a little bit. I think I might've been pregnant at the time. You were. This is our dining room. Again, some Ashley furniture. Beside the dining room, we have our kitchen. And our island is well used. We always have people sitting and uh, eating breakfast or if we're having a party, there's always people sitting there and snacking or drinking. And over here, we eat probably most of our family meals. So our kitchen is wide open to our fireplace room and this is where we do most of our entertaining. Um, and in this room we have another built-in that was built by Greg and his father over here. And uh, this is also the famous puppy wrestling room is what I call it because they run through here as they're having one of their chases. Sorry Cricket, we're gonna blame this one on you. So come on this way and I'll show you the powder room and the laundry room. So over here we have a small powder room. Still exactly the way the builder did it so nothing snazzy about it at all. And this way we have our laundry room, which has been done, thankfully. We did it uh, quite a few years ago, and again, the cabinets we got at uh, Home Depot. And um, countertop as well, Home Depot. And I designed these little place, these shelves to put our uh, laundry baskets. So come on this way, and you can see our staircase. We'll go up and we'll see the bedrooms and the loft. 
So the loft has been our latest project around the house. And as you can see, we still haven't quite finished everything completely. So we got these uh, cabinets at Ikea and Greg built them to look like they're built-in cabinets. And there's a video, follow the link, you can see exactly how we did it from scratch. Right. So we designed it to have this kind of U-shaped uh, with the cabinets and then a desk in the middle. And again, this is all Ikea, including the light fixture. Uh, and the light fixtures above there. And over here we have a keyboard. And Greg is the only one in the family that can play right now, but uh, I think the rest of us would love to learn. Right beside the loft we have Liam's bedroom. Oh, wait a minute. Knock before entering and enter if you dare. Uh, so this is Liam's bedroom. And he has his own desk. And uh, we plan to find some different pictures to put in this frame. Liam has a couple of interests. He really likes dinosaurs, like I mentioned before. And uh, he also likes castles and that kind of thing. Ancient so, history. Yeah, ancient history. So we thought maybe... What? Somebody wants to play. <laughs> now over here, Liam got this sword. So this is Liam's bed and uh, his favorite color right now is this teal color. So we got him with some pillows and a blanket in his favorite color. <laughs> so over here Liam has his own walk-in closet. Nothing fancy but uh, lots of space to hang stuff. And over here he actually has his own bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Over here we have a guest room. One of Cricket's favorite places to sleep. So the picture we got from Ikea and the lamps from HomeSense and the pillows from uh, Buclair. in this room we have Logan's bedroom. Logan has a space space theme room and the inspiration for his space theme came from these quilts. These quilts were made by Greg's mother. She is an expert quilter and look all day long this is where you can find Logan. <laughs> Logan's room has a moonscape painted on this wall and then we got these uh, decals at I believe it was Lowe's years ago and then uh, over here he has a desk and the desk and chair and light are all from Ikea and between the two beds Logan has a little nightstand for his books and his light an astronaut coming out of a black hole and Logan also has his own walk-in closet Well, yeah. lucky. So I come this way and we will show you the bathroom that Logan uses. It's not in his bedroom, but he gets to use it. It's his dedicated washroom. He only shares it with the guests. If we make him share it. Come on, let's go to the master bedroom. Apparently we have four dogs. Good puppy. So this is the master bedroom. We have a nice king size bed. The bed frame itself was from Ashley Furniture. And uh, the bedding, this bedding was actually from Costco. And on that wall we have a picture that we got from uh, Blue Claire. So over here we have the sitting room part of the master bedroom and it is still a blank slate. If you have any ideas, put them in the comment section. We read them. All right, so come on this way and we'll show you the closet. We have a walk-in closet that we just did, I guess, before the loft. 
and we added some dressers from Ikea and we raised this up so that I could have lots of hanging space on my side and then uh, this is Greg's side over here and we also got these little drawers from Ikea and they're great. Right across from our closet we have our master bath Ooh. where we have double sink, a jetted tub. Every room has a Logan. Wow. And over here we have our shower and the toilet. So now we're going to go down to the basement and take a look at the home theater and the kids' playroom. Well, let's go downstairs and take a look at the uh, home theater and rec room. On our landing, we have uh, a little storage for our kids' toys. Uh, Sister-in-law gave us this for Christmas one year and Greg just spray painted it with silver paint and some sparkly silver paint. And uh, the same sister-in-law actually gave us this picture. Down in the basement we also have an exercise room. And the basement was just renovated last uh, summer. And we put in this exercise room. I use the treadmill in the winter and uh, Greg has the recumbent bike. And we also have a TV over here to keep us entertained while we're exercising. Over here we have a bathroom. Just a basement bathroom. And over here we converted what used to be a closet into a Lego building zone. So this is an Ikea uh, I believe it was a kitchen countertop that we got, some stools, mm -hmm. and this is all of the sorted Lego pieces. Okay, so now we're going to head into the kids' playroom and the home theater. So these uh, bookshelves here, these are from Ikea, building bookshelves. Same ones we have in the loft, except the dark version. And you can see we've kind of created a nice effect with the two of them. My favorite cartoon characters is Uncle Scrooge and Blonde Duck. And you can see we have the popcorn bowl. These old film reels spray painted to match the colors theme. These are the rounded columns that we installed last summer. They used to be around jack posts. We used to have just a square uh, pillar. And we had these special order from Home Depot. Install them. It's in uh, the link you see below there. You can see how we did it. And with the rounded wall we have here, it makes it look really, really nice. All right, now this was this was a little bit of work. It used to be a closet behind there, just wasted space under the stairs. Last summer we cut it out. Again, follow that link. You can see how we did it. And turned it into this beautiful little popcorn niche with a real popcorn maker but you don't want to eat that popcorn because I spray painted it with Verithane, which is plastic. But it looks really nice. We get uh, all my equipment, get it all set up, and as you can see, I've got Xbox One, PS4, cable box. This is where the kids come and play video games when they're not allowed to play in the home theater. So we have, a, again, the movie theme. This is my homemade movie board. That's the switch that controls the niche light and that light. Over here, a nice sectional, some metal wall art, big lamp in the corner, shining at a nice little splash of red. And of course the big TV that the kids can play on. The grand entrance to the home theater. This was quite a job. Uh, again, another link at the bottom for you there to see how I did it. But uh, nice, ordered these online, these little letters to create the Burke Cinema. This is my dream. In here we have uh, another Logan installed. There's lots of these. This is the theater riser I'm on. 
it was, uh, it's incredibly solid, soundproofed, damp, walls are walls within walls. I've got speakers on the ceiling, four speakers on the ceiling, and I have four surround speakers, two on the sides, two on the back. The seats, we got these seats years ago, and they actually sat in the master sitting area. One reason why we couldn't decorate that room uh, for quite a while. This is the control room. We have electric seats. Uh, there you go. And then you play your PS4 on the 120 inch screen. These movie posters are a little special. They're actually special made. Uh, ATS Acoustic uh, made them for me with a custom movie poster print on top. They absorb reflections so we get pure sound. So I've got one there and one there. And I've got Guardians of the Galaxy over here. On the wall you can see Totem Tribe speakers, awesome speakers, made in Montreal, Canada. There's one of the subwoofers and huge 120 inch screen. Center channel here, all seven speakers are the same. So that is the tour of the house. One last place we want to show you though is the beautiful backyard. So off our kitchen eating area, we have some sliding doors that go out to our backyard. The uh, table and chairs were all from Costco from their summer collection. All right, because right about now, when you go to Costco, there's uh, snowsuits. At least up here, anyway. Uh, so we have a nice big deck, and this is uh, not real wood. PVC, plastic. <laughs> but it looks great, and it never requires maintenance. Right. And our deck has two levels. There's this upper level, and then over here, we have a lower level. And again, Costco furniture. Call the warming couch. And why do we call it the warming couch? Because when you get cold from swimming, you come out here and you get hot because this is right in the sun. We keep our house more comfortable without having to use the air conditioner more. We got these lines that are remote control operated. Coolaroo from Costco. We tried a lot of things to keep our house cool. And the things that helped the most were these blinds. And if you look up there, we have awnings. They made a huge difference as well. And uh, on our upper deck, we have a roof. And that provides a lot of shade. That also keeps our house cooler. So just off our deck, we have our pool equipment. And this walkway that goes to our gate that leads to the side of our house. Over here we have a nice sitting area in the shade and our shed with a nice garden with perennials. And of course we have our pool which gets tons of use in the summer. We've had their birthday parties in the pool. Hello, folks, the house tour that everyone's been asking for. The home of the Burke Bunch. We hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any uh, comments or questions, just leave them in the comment section below. <laughs> Click that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Take care. Was this a little scrape or just a little bubble to develop? Or